Hello everyone, welcome to class today. We are going to be doing a restorative session, about 20 minutes, um, to open up chest and shoulders. So I'm gonna use my yoga blanket, but as you can see the shape, it's a little bit bigger than a towel, but if you've got a blanket that's about this size, or can be folded up about this size, that's great. You can also use a pillow, a big beach towel if you have one. So I'm just gonna show you how I fold this. We're gonna want it to be a little bit longer. So sometimes when you see yoga blankets folded, they're in this tiny little rectangle, which is useful to sit on and useful for some extra padding. But this time we, we're going to use it to help open the chest. So we want it to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to take my big blanket here and fold it till it's about this shape. Okay. So depending on how your chest and shoulders feel, if they're feeling super tight, you're going to take a smaller fold. So let me show you down on the mat here. So if your shoulders and chest are feeling really open and you do a lot of back bends and you, you feel pretty open in that space, you can roll the blanket up like a burrito. Just kind of roll it up as tight as you'd like. Okay. So it's about that thick. But if back bends maybe aren't your favorite or you're new to making these shapes, we're gonna make it much flatter. So two options. You can just fold it once, nice and flat, or you can fold it twice, like into thirds almost, and have it a little thicker, okay? So you choose the thickness, lots of different options. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna do kind of the medium way. So I'll do this. If you have um, one with fringe, you can always leave it kind of closer to the end. And feel free to practice on a bed or a couch. Um, we don't need to, you don't need to come all the way down to the floor, especially if that doesn't feel right for you today. So feel free to do this on a bed or a couch. Um, the firmer the support underneath you, the better. Uh, that just kind of helps support the body. But just do with whatever you've got, okay? So you're gonna take your blanket or towel or whatever you have, pillow. If you've got a yoga bolster and you wanna use that too, you can. Um, you'll probably wanna to switch to a towel for our next shape. So before we get started, a um, good thing to know about restorative yoga is it's really supposed to be comfortable. In a lot of other yoga practices, we kind of, um, continue to look for sensation. So we, we are, we're wanting that feedback from the body, but here in restorative, we want to rest. So let's get started resting. Taking that blanket or towel or pillow out, you're gonna come and sit in front of it and you're gonna lean on back. Okay. So from here, Knees can be bent, if that feels good. Legs can be straight. If you like a little more stretch maybe, or it feels good, you can bring the soles of the feet together and the knees out. I'm gonna stay with knees bent today. So what the stretch does is just kind of allows the shoulders to drop a little bit more towards the floor. It kind of elevates the chest some and lets the shoulders drop. Hands can be by the sides, kind of like a wide V. You can also take them out to the sides like a T. You can also even take them overhead, one hand on top of the other. All different options. So find the one that feels good for you. And we'll be here for about four more minutes. Um, feel free to move and shift and adjust at any time if this feels uncomfortable to you. And just breathe. Maybe this is the first time you've taken a pause today. Maybe let the jaw soften a little, forehead soften.
whenever the mind starts to wander. A couple things you can do to just help with that stillness, calming effects of this practice. Maybe you have a word that you're really connected with today. Maybe it's peace or focus or quiet. You can just repeat that word in your mind. Or maybe you want to visualize a relaxing place. And really imagine as if you're there. If you happen to have your hands, your arms over your head, and one hand on top of the other, go ahead and switch. few more breaths here. Good. Slowly bringing the arms back to center, back by the sides of the waist if they're not already there. As we transition from shape to shape in restorative, we want to keep that nice relaxing feel. So we're going to move nice and slow, no rush take as much time as you need. Slowly roll to one side and you're going to gently press your way up to seat. You're not going to be here very long. We're just going to move the blanket. So you're going to take the blanket now and turn it so sideways so it's parallel, sorry, perpendicular to the mat like a T almost. And then you're going to eventually lay back down but let me show you where that um, blanket is going to hit you. So as you lay down, you kind of want the blanket, the very top of the blanket, to be just underneath the shoulder blades. So shoulder blades are here, and then the top of the blanket is right here. You don't want the blanket down low, like near the waist or the low back. We want, and we don't want it up too high, kind of sometimes we end up putting it up here, like by the tops of the shoulders. We want it right there at the base of the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades are on your mat or your bed, and that mid back is kind of on the blanket. So find your way to that shape. And again, you might want to change the height um, or the thickness of the blanket. If you lay down, it feels a little too much. Feel free to roll to the side, come back up nice and slow, and maybe lower it down a bit. So again, you'll lay on back. Shoulder blades are on the mat above the blanket. And again, any choice of the legs is fine. Same thing with the arms. So you can't bring them by the sides. It's a little better to bring them out like a T. So it gives that shoulder blade a bit of more space to go closer to the floor. And now we're working a little more with mid back area, okay? You can also take hands overhead if that felt really good the last time. Feel free to add that back in. Change the shapes whenever you like. And we'll settle here. This mid-back can be a bit of a tricky spot. It can be hard to get to sometimes in stretching and it can sometimes hold that tension, especially if we're sitting a lot during the day and we get a bit of that rounded shoulder feeling 
especially working on computers or working on your phone or at a desk. Again, if that mind wanders, which it will, come back to that relaxing place, maybe that you're visualizing, or that word. Always feel free to change up the shape of the arms or the legs. About one more minute here. So the great thing about our next shape is that we're really not going to move very much. The blanket's going to stay right where it is. Arms can stay in the same, same shape. The only thing that's going to change is we're going to bend the knees. So bring the feet to the mat or the bed. We're going to pick the hips up just a little bit and shift them to the right. And then we're going to let the knees fall to the left. Coming into a twist here. If you want some extra support between the legs, you can add another blanket or towel or pillow. Arms can stay out to the sides like a T or overhead. And just breathe. Finding those inhales and exhales. as we come into this twisting shape, we're finding some opening for the side body. Really important in that chest, mid back space. And feel free to adjust the legs if you want, kind of changing up that shape a little so you feel like you can be very restful here.
And as the mind wanders, come back again to that relaxing place or that repeated word. Few more breaths on this side. as you feel ready you can gently come back to center so bringing those legs back realign the hips and then just take a moment here then when you're ready you're going to pick the hips up and shift them a little to the left and let the knees fall to the right when you're ready Take some time to shift and adjust. This side might need something a little different. Softening around forehead, eyes, and jaw. Coming back again to that relaxing place. Or that word. See if maybe you can soften the shoulders a little bit or the palms of the hands. About one more minute here. Few more breaths. And 
as you feel ready, slowly bringing those legs back to center, nice and slow. Realigning the hips and just taking a moment here. And then in your own time, you'll eventually roll to one side and press your way up to a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.